Hi, I'm Dan, a physiotherapist from Chelsea and Westminster Pain Clinic. And today I'm gonna to run you through a little lower body workout um, involving just three exercises. Um, so we're gonna work on two sets of 10 repetitions. Um, but when you're doing this one at home, see if you can aim anywhere between eight and 12 in terms of the number of repetitions you're doing, um, as that's what we're aiming for, for to get stronger. Um, and if you find two sets is not enough, then have another go and do maybe three or four sets, um, but two sets is fine. Or if this is a new exercise, then you can start off just by doing one set, that's also absolutely fine. So the first exercise we're gonna do um, is a really nice one, really simple, you don't need any equipment for any of these. Um, and what we're gonna do is stand up and sit down from the chair. Now, if you want to, um, you can use the arms of the chair if your chair has arms, um, or you can push up and down using a little bit of support from your legs. Um, but to make it harder, we're gonna do it without holding on to anything whatsoever. So either crossing your arms across your chest or just holding them in front of you. So off we go. So we're gonna go number one, and down, and two, and down, and three, and down, and four, and down, and five, and down, and six, and down, and seven, and down, and eight, and down, and nine, and down, and the last one, number 10, and then down. So whilst you're having a little rest with this one, um, feel free to pause the video if you want a slightly longer rest. Um, but we're gonna go straight into the second set. Now one way to make this a little bit harder, if you find that too easy, is to, when you're sitting down, imagine that you're sitting on an egg without breaking it. So you're just touching the chair and then coming back up. And that'll just make those muscles work a little bit harder. Okay, so off we go for the second set. So one and two. And three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and last one, number 10. Lovely, have a little rest there. Pause the video if you want to do another set. Um, but if not, we're going to carry on and we'll go straight on to the second exercise. Now this one we're going to do standing behind the chair. You can also do this one standing next to something like the kitchen worktop. We're just using it for a bit of balance really rather than anything else. And this one again, really good for the particularly your quadriceps muscles on the front of the leg. So what we're going to do is stand behind the chair and all we're going to do is do a little bit of a bend and then back up again. Now in terms of how far you bend, obviously if you're, if you're feeling a bit more confident, you've got nice strong legs, you can come all the way down. But actually if this is a new exercise and you wanna start off nice and easy, um, then just doing some small knee bends, letting the bum come out behind you just a little bit as you bend um, is where we're at. Okay, so we're gonna do two sets of 10 again with this one. So standing feet about the hips width apart for this one. And we're gonna come down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then last one, number 10. Okay, pause the video if you want a little bit of a rest between sets. We're going to go straight into the second set. So, feet about hips width apart again. And we're going to come down. And then one. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six and seven, and eight, and nine, and then last one, number 10. Okay, 
So pause the video if you want to do another set of that one. We're going to move on to the final exercise of the three, um, which is one that's going to target your calf muscles. So you may have seen this one in the, video, in the earlier videos if you've already been through those. And this is called a heel raise or a calf raise. So again, standing with something just for a little bit of balance, and then we're just going to push up and down on your tiptoes, um, really engaging these calf muscles, making them work hard. If you find it too easy doing it on both legs, have a go uh, doing it on one leg. So off we go, number one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and then 10. Good, pause it if you want a little rest between sets, and then restart the video when you're ready to go on the second set. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, number 10. Brilliant, there you go. That's your three exercises for your lower body. Um, you can always combine that one with the other video for the upper body exercises, and you've got yourself a nice whole body routine to have a go at.